Hi everybody, it's me again with another video. Um, today I am going to do another scrape art, but I will be using uh, something we call a squeegee. For those of you who don't know that, what that is, you use it to clean your windows. Okay, it's like a rubber thing that you use to after you spray the water to get the window all clear. So I'm going to use that to do my scrape art today. So I'm applying the paint. I think I'm using gold and blue and I think yellow to start with. Yeah, I think I started and then I said, well, let me put some yellow in there. Oh, no, I, I guess I didn't that first while I changed my mind. <laughs> okay. All right, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to add some yellow to it. This is my first time using the squeegee technique, so I'm, you know, it'll be the first time for everything here. Okay. So it's spreading the paint pretty good. Yeah, it seems like it's moving all, moving all the paint. Well, I'm glad I used some light colors, so we'll see how it turns out. I'm turning it around to make sure I get all the paint evenly spread. Because I think some of it was down at the bottom. Not sure why I didn't go all the way down. I guess I must didn't want the paint to fall on the cloth that's underneath because I forgot to put some paper or something. Yeah. Okay. So we're just doing them all different sides. Just to see how it will come out. When you see the colors, they look pretty they light. But they spread in some kind of way. Okay, so now I said, let me put some black. Because remember, for those of you that watch my videos, some time ago I said black tends to dominate a painting when you do it on your pore paintings or even your abstract or whatever. So you had to be careful. But in this instance, I decided to add some black for a little dramatic effect, which it is giving me a little dramatic effect right there. Yeah, and you could still see some of the blue and some of the yellow. Down there with some of it has turned into green. But you see different tones of blue and different tones of green and a little bit of yellow. So now I'm adding a lot of bright colors because as you all know, I'm a bright color girl. I love bright colors. So I'm doing red and pink and I think I'm gonna put some green in there and some bronze and um, I think maybe some blue, like a little darker shade of blue. But you'll see. See, there's the green. I love that shade of green. It just, it's just make give it give every paint, and I do it gives it a real dramatic effect. So I do, do like that. I'm trying to find another type of acrylic paint in the tubes that would be good enough to do these um, paintings. I saw a brand called Golden, which is super expensive. But, you know, I'm probably going to get it eventually, but not right now. Right now I'm using the Master's Touch, which I get 40% off at Hobby Lobby. I tend to try and buy all my stuff there because I can always get a, a discount. Which, you know, when you're on a, fake, on a budget, you know, every little penny helps. So I tend to buy my stuff there, or if I could get it at a reasonable price, I do get stuff on Amazon. And this thing here, this metal thing, I found that at the um, Dollar Tree. I think it's some kind of pastry thing that you use to like break up butter and stuff to cut it up. And I think I see people, they do some kind of ice cream where you have this, this frozen thing and you pour milk on it and then you chop it up. I think they use that. But I have no idea what it's called. So I just call it today the pastry thing. But that did really good. See how good it spreads the paint? 
yeah I think it, it does really good so I'm gonna use that a little bit more often I wanted to use something else besides the paint scraper I've been using I'm pretty sure you're probably tired of me you seeing me we use that by now so I found this thing and I thought well it was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree <laughs> so I thought why not so once again you see all my lovely bright colors so this one was a lot of fun I, I thought it was and I think I add maybe add some blue I think I put on it and then I oh and I bought a thing of as you probably see in one of my other videos I bought a um, pack of uh, metal paint palettes because the plastic ones weren't doing such a good job and this one has a whole bunch of other shapes things I can make patterns and make designs with on the painting so all together I paid like 20 bucks for both one was seven dollars and the other one was of course thirteen dollars so yeah I'm using that that's what I'm using there and you'll see them in some of my other videos coming up yeah it, it really they really work good I, I really I don't regret spending that twenty dollars so you see you see the blue the green the pink all the different colors I use you can see all of them okay so there's one of the palette things see it it looks like a fork with a whole bunch of things so you can make different designs in the paint with those so I decided to use put two different colors that I hadn't really used yet I always like to put white and black somewhere in the painting so that's what I'm I'm about to do here I'm gonna make that design and then I'm gonna put some black and some white paint and kind of you know make that little zigzaggy looking thing a little squirrely looking thing on there I really like doing these and I'm trying to make some to hang in my office at work Cause I have a few but I have two two other walls that are empty so I want to get something but I want to make I don't want to just use any colors I kind of want to match up some of the colors I have in my office so yeah see how that black and white stands out in the middle I'm gonna take that thing and go over it see Yeah, I love how that looks. I think I'm going to put some more um, black in there. Yeah, make that little piece bigger than it was. There you go. And then put some more black, and I think I ended up putting some more white in there too yeah just so it could kind of stand out a little bit
Yeah, so this is coming down to the end. I decided to splash some white paint in there. Just to give it a little bit of drama. Because <laughs> I always feel like your painting should have a, a certain level of drama to it. When you look at it, you should be like, oh, dang, I see it. So yeah, so just remember guys, I post every Tuesday and Saturday. And this is the finished product. This is a close up of the finished product. So I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Okay, so bye now.